10. First at 10, our big story, the NBA launching an investigation into Suns owner Robert Sarver. We have been tracking these major developments all day for you when it comes after an ESPN report accusing Sarver of engaging in a pattern of racism and sexism during his tenure with the team. Sarver denying the claims, but the NBA saying the allegations are extremely serious. We have team coverage tonight. Our Colin Harmon inside Footprint Center hearing from the team. But we start with ABC 15's Jordan Bonke catching up with fans outside the arena tonight. Jordan? Yeah, many of those fans had one thing on their mind tonight, and that's making sure that the Suns can just beat that one win team, the Houston Rockets. And that happened without any sort of issue inside the Footprint Center. But that constant news from that ESPN report, hard to ignore for some fans. And we know that there's a defamation suit that's coming down the pipe. And we spoke with an attorney on what that could look like. They have one win. But I'm not worried about them. I told him this is all day. When you're a fan of the reigning Western Conference champs, facing a team with just a single win shouldn't be a problem. But what was an issue inside the Footprint Center on Thursday wasn't on the court. Obviously, this isn't the best thing to hear on like a game night. An ESPN report details allegations of racism and misogynistic behaviors by owner Robert Sarver during his tenure with the Suns. The story says it's based on interviews with more than 70 current and former Suns employees who described a sometimes toxic and hostile workplace. I think that it would benefit them if they changed to change up ownership a little bit. Suns fan Damian Inahoe says he saw this coming. Man, I, I think there's no there's no place for that in sports or just, you know, any other facet of life like uh, especially at an ownership level, I think they need to be respectful of the guys that are playing, you know. In reaction to the report, the president of the Suns tweeted out a lengthy statement saying in part the team has retained defamation counsel, saying the story was, quote, plagued by journalistic failures. The number one problem Robert Sarver is going to have is, first of all, he's a public figure. Raiz Muhammad is a defamation attorney. And as a public figure, you have to prove that the person who published the statement did so recklessly or knowingly. So at the very least, this, the legal standard is they entertained serious doubts about their statements. A pending legal battle will follow every step of the way. Jordan Bontke, ABC 15, Arizona. Jordan, thank you. We're also hearing from Robert Sarver himself. He released a statement tonight saying he's shocked by what he calls the false reporting in the ESPN story. Calling the claims inaccurate and misleading, Sarver says, quote, at this point, I would entirely welcome an impartial NBA investigation, which may prove our only outlet for clearing my name and the reputation of the organization of which I am so very proud.